What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to catch opali perch. Oh yeah, you got a big one. Get him in, get him in. Don't let him get in the rock. Get him up. Flip him over. No! Uh, what's up guys? In uh, today's video, we're going to be showing you how to catch some opali perch. We're over in Mission Bay right now. And the bay we're going to be using today is peas. Alright, so we're just using some sweet peas, pole, for bait. Um, I find that that's the best thing to use for opali perch. And you want to look for areas with rocks like jetties. Uh, today we're inside the harbor, kind of in this jetty rock area. And um, you want to chum. I'll throw about like maybe five to five or seven peas out there. And when you start getting them feeding, then you throw it on a little hook, a single pea, and we'll see what we get. So you just want to chum out a little bit like that, get them feeding, then cast. Lost your pee. <laughs> Got one. Dinky one, Evan had it. Did the line break? No. No, because the hook came out? Yeah. Ah, oh, man. He did. Oh. Bro. <laughs> Alright, we're getting them feeding. We're getting them feeding, and Evan just lost a big one. So I just want to show you this little guy. I'm going to let this little guy go. So. Opali perch. There's some other good size ones down there. And that's literally the first one I saw. That was probably like the biggest one I've seen down there. There's another big one. Look at him. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got a decent one. I got a decent one. Keeper, keeper. Yeah, got keeper size. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Got keeper size. So yeah, it's a decent size one. Uh, we'll keep this one. We'll do catch and cook also. But yeah, nice hand size. Good size perch. Focus. There it goes. A little opali. Non keeper. Yeah, 
Right, got another opali. You guys can see why they call them opalis. Little opali perch. Um, so you can keep these any size. Uh, I call them non-keepers just because a little small to eat. So, I mean, you can eat it, but I just rather keep bigger ones. So, let it go. Got another one. <laughs> another little guy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. Almost lost another to the abyss. <laughs> there he goes. He made it. <laughs> he made it. Yeah, he made it. What's up guys, we're back at the house now. Um, so what ended up happening while we were out fishing and filming is um, the camera died, and um, which is my phone, I filmed with my phone. And which is really unfortunate because we got into them. And um, yeah, I wish I got that on camera. So I think maybe I'll redo this video um, again and be a little bit more prepared for it. But I just wanted to show you what we got here. So Evan, well, uh, uh, what happened after uh, we uh, couldn't film anymore? Uh, we got like 15 more fish. <laughs> yeah, we got some <laughs> nice. All of them were big. We got some nice ones, huh? All right, me and Brent. Yeah, all right, we're going to show you what we got. So you already saw what we caught on camera. And then we switched up we went to a different spot. Same technique. Um, chumming with the peas, throwing like maybe like five or seven in there. Uh, at a time uh, you don't want to throw 20 in there at a time at least for me I wouldn't want to do that just because I don't want them just getting full right so but it gets them feeding and gets them excited to feed and then throw one single pea out on a hook with a little with one or two little split shots okay so it can sink down a little bit and um, yeah and this is what we got check it out bum, bum, bum. Oh. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we slayed some nice ones too. Look at these. Yeah. That's not even the biggest one. <laughs> I don't even think so. So, That's bam. A big one. We got a. Uh, yeah, we got some nice opali perch. Where's that other big one? The the other big one's probably in there buried. Uh, I buried him in the uh, ice last uh, night. So. So yeah, this is the next day. We're, I was tired when we got home. So uh, we're going to go ahead and clean them up. We're going to clean them up, cook them up, and um, I'll show you guys everything. Okay. All right, guys. I am going to clean one on camera right here. And then we will clean up the rest of them, actually. <laughs> That's the one I want. <laughs> so I'm going to put the rest of these guys. Yeah, look at that guy. Woo! Put them, yeah. right here, put them right here. You want them right here? Yeah. Yeah. It's huge. That's like a. That's probably as big as they get. That's about as big as they get. You recorded, right? Yep. All right. So I'm going to show you what they call open life. Look at their eye. It opal. <laughs> All right. I'm weird. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna clean one on camera right here. First, I like to scale them, okay? What? You could use a, they make tools for descaling fish. I don't have one, mm. so. Just get like a potato scraper and scrape it. That might work, maybe. All right, let's rinse it off. Put it over. Good for now. Sorry. It's okay. I was just trying to get the scales out of the way. I'm sorry, buddy. Alright, so we're just gonna cut the head off. Because that's what we do around here. 
Cutting heads off. Alright. Hers will be ready. I definitely need some better fillet knives. There we go. Boom. Ugh. And then. We'll see what the next tummy. Yep. Then we're gonna get it. Okay. I'm guessing peas. What do you guess? Probably peas. So boom. That's it. All the guts came out in one piece. All right. Where's the belly? And we're just gonna slice this membrane right here, just to clean it all up. Where's the belly? We're gonna slice that membrane. Boom. Just like that. Opens up this cavity, and we're just gonna close it all out. Uh, so I'm just gonna rinse it out. Rinse the fish off. Alright, there you go. There you got some good fish. Now you got a cleaned opali perch. <laughs> and, uh, oh. yep, yeah, then we'll cook them up. All right, guys, so now we're gonna prepare our fish for the grill. We're gonna be grilling them. Pulling our fish out of uh, this ice water. Okay, we're gonna give them a little rinse in the sink. One little final rinse. Nice and cold. All right, so we're gonna drip dry. And then on the paper towel here, I just want to dry the fish off before we put it in foil and put our seasoning on it. I don't want it covered in water. It'd be a little damp, but I just don't want it dripping wet. Okay, so now we get some foil. Big enough piece for your fish, obviously. Okay, should be good. Alright. Put our foil down there. Alright. Fish is looking pretty good now, coming together. Okay, so for seasoning. I'm just going to do uh, a little black pepper. A little bit of black pepper. Okay, get some on the inside there too. Okay, a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, okay, a little bit of onion powder, okay, a little, okay, the stuff isn't overwhelming, you can kind of load it up. Seasoning salt, it's a little bit strong, so I'll be not so generous with it. Okay, and then dab a little bit of uh, what is that? Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Okay. Flip it. Repeat. Okay. I mean, you guys can use whatever seasoning you want. This is just what I like to use. A little garlic powder. A little onion powder. Okay. Get some up in there. A little seasoning salt. Boom. Boom, boom. A little onion again. Uh, not onion. Um, lemon. A little bit of lemon. Throw a little lemon in there. A little lemon. I like to just kind of have some. Sprinkle it in the foil like so. And then put a couple orange slices in there. What do you guys think? What do you boys think? I, I think it Sound looks good? good. You think it looks good? All right. Yeah. Are we going to do more? Right. Yeah, we're gonna do more. We've done salmon like that, but we, we right. didn't put the orange in it. So then we just fold it up. Okay, fold up your ends. Okay, then you've got one perch ready for the grill right here. All right, what's up, guys? Um, so now that we're done with the uh, now that we're done with the uh, what do we do? Wrapped them up in foil. 
Um, now we're ready for the grill. So here we go. Here. And we're just gonna line it up. Boom. 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 Looks like we'll be able to fit uh, about nine on here. Boom. Maybe a little more. Maybe we'll get some more. Okay. Got some more here. Boom. Boom. And look at that. Actually, let me go here and here. All right. Okay. Then we're going to close it up. Let it cook. Okay, guys. All right, so. Oh, boy. Um, I may or may not have cooked it a little too much. It's a little bit charred. But um, take a look at it here. A little bit charred, but not too bad. So let's go for it. Okay, nice flaky meat. Nice flaky. Get a little skin on there. Okay. That's pretty good. Mmm. That's definitely good. Good flavor. It's not super fishy. Let's go for another bite. A little hot just came off. I guess it's pretty good. Opal came out pretty good. I think I could cook it a little better. If you guys have kept and cooked Opal perch before, let me know how you cooked it. And I'll try that too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I haven't posted it in a while, but I'm going to be back on my regular uploads. I'm going to be posting at least once a week. And I'm thinking about going live once a week also. And because um, I make a lot of baits. And so I was thinking it would be fun to go live once a week. Maybe, um, I don't know what day, Monday or Tuesday evening and show you guys baits that I make. And so if you guys would, if you guys think you'd be interested in that, let me know and we'll do that every week. We'll go live and so we can chit chat a little bit in the chat and you can see me make the baits and you know, I think it'll be fun. But yeah, I apologize. I know I haven't posted in a while. I, you know, had some problems with my computer. I actually just upgraded my computer uh, for Christmas. And it was a present for myself and my kids. It's a uh, uh, gaming computer, you know, play, you know, Fortnite and, you know, stuff like that on it. So uh, we upped our game on the PC and got a much better working PC. And so, yeah, it's going to help me edit my videos, cut down my time on even just transferring my files. It was like, oh my gosh, it would take like forever ever do you just transfer like a, a small file would take forever and then just to upload videos took forever and um so yeah this is gonna help me out a lot and help me better keep up on my youtube channel i built up this youtube channel to we're at about 1200 subscribers now and so just just want to let you guys know i'm not leaving we're gonna continue this journey um, I got some fun plans for 2021. I'm thinking maybe we could do some tournaments, some get-togethers, um, giveaways, and um, yeah, I hope you guys stay tuned. Don't forget to be a subscriber so you don't miss any of the future uploads. And um, that's it. Stay safe, stay tight, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Got one. Oh yeah, you got a big one. Get him in, get him in. Don't let him get in the rocks. Get him up. Whip him over. Get him, get him, get him, get him.